series by Unique Pakistan. I am Noreen Ansari and with me I have four passionate individuals from Institute of Business Management. Their passion for success made them win the SEMA Global Business Challenge 2012 Pakistan Finals and they have qualified for the Global Finals to be held in Sri Lanka on July 23rd and 24th, 2012. Let's meet Team Eureka. Yusuf, you are the group leader. So, uh, can you just tell us something about this competition? What is it all about? SEMA Global Business Challenge is basically uh, a, a, based on a case study each year on a different industry of UK. And uh, the participating teams are to act as consultants uh, for one of the firms from those uh, industries. And uh, there's, a scenario, uh, there's a case study and also a scenario document which uh, entails many issues and problems facing the company. Uh, with regards to their marketing function, HR function, finance, and other related uh, functions. So we are to act as consultants. We, we are to apply all the knowledge, uh, the models, the tools that we have studied in our business management courses and provide concrete uh, and uh, thorough analysis of the problems and alternative solutions to the company. All right. So the name is Team Eureka. What does Eureka mean and how did you form your team? What were your individual strengths? The team name Eureka is basically inspired from the story of the uh, famous Greek mathematician Archimedes. Uh, Eureka basically means uh, I found it. And it is basically a phenomenal proclamation and is considered one of the most uh, incredible uh, phrases in the history of science. As uh, the famous mathematician Archimedes, uh, he pronounced and he shouted Eureka. Uh, when he discovered a, a solution to a very uh, complicated problem, we wanted to formulate a team which would have, which would provide us to to have a holistic view of the business and provide solutions accordingly. So, Anna is basically Anna comes with uh, joins Riga with the financial strength. She has a good knowledge of finance numbers. Uh, Subia basically she provided her experience with uh, the marketing and HR issues. I was dealing with the cost management and management accounting problems and Hina uh, provided a strategic view and industry analysis. So was it your first experience with SEMA? Uh, for me, Anna and Hina, uh, this was not the first experience, it was the third time that we participated in this competition. For Subia, it was the first experience. Alright Subia, it was your first experience and you are uh, so much further with this competition that you will be going for global finals. You are the lucky one. How do you feel? It feels great. I was uh, approached by three friends of mine who were participating since the last two years and they actually did reach to the Pakistan finals. So I knew it was a great team to work with and it was a great opportunity for me and it turned out to be really nice. It was a very good experience. Anna, you are in the team from past three years, so what has your experience been through? Um, see, my Global Business Challenge has always been a very wonderful experience, but this time it was overwhelming. Reason being, obviously we became the Pakistan champions. Um, there was a lot of pressure on, our, on us because uh, this was the last time that we could participate because next year we would be in our MBS. But finally, we managed it and we became the Pakistan champions. Anna, uh, how has your experience been? I will agree with Anna on everything she said. It was an overwhelming experience. For the past three years we have been participating, it was always very exciting. Whenever we went to the Pakistan final, it was very exciting. It was a very learning experience. Each time we came out of the competition with a different perspective that we learned because of the, the, our participation in this competition. But third time was a charm, we won, and this time we are representing Pakistan in the global final. I'd like to add to this that uh, instead of getting demotivated 
after losing two times we actually we were persistent and we were motivated that we we have to work hard we will you know continuously improve our performance and represent pakistan in the global final which we managed to achieve all right yusuf uh, how has seema actually helped you in your learning and your academics the one very important thing that seema global business challenge uh, has given me is uh, that problems business problems and issues should be uh, analyzed and solutions should be developed by taking a holistic view of the business this you cannot just uh, base your assumptions and and your conclusions of business and new product development etc based on just one function of the business each and every function of the business is really important and this is i think the most important thing that i've learned from sima okay so working for the competition did you approach any acquaintances or companies or any mentors that you have uh this time actually we did not have any mentors uh no full time mentors but we did approach uh, our faculty members our te- uh, teachers um to guide us to some of the problems that we were facing and they did but there was no full time at all okay anna so how has working for this competition helped you in your learning um i completely agree what you so just said regarding taking the holistic view of the business one more thing that i would like to add here is that seema really helped me in improving my presentation and communication skills because we got a chance to give presentation in front of such a huge audience that really boosted our level of confidence and that really helped us okay so you people have qualified for the global finals how does it feel that you will be representing pakistan uh, representing pakistan in the global final is a great opportunity and an honor for us but besides that it is a great responsibility also uh, we are quite under pressure as much as we are excited and uh, you're working hard and let's hope that you win the global final also for pakistan so we're taking months of really hard work with us to the global final and definitely when we go into the global final we want to win and bring back the glory to the country and as you said it's not only an exciting factor but it's also a very big responsibility because we have to we'll act as ambassadors of the country and that in itself is a huge honor and a big responsibility okay so one more question that why do we want to win this square competition it's about winning a competition for pakistan first our aim was to win it as a team and bring this glory to the institute to our university and now we'll move, be moving on to the global final and inshallah if we win the title will come to pakistan for the first time and uh, besides this we have put in so much effort so much hard work that it will it will definitely be nice to have it in a repaid in the form of victory i completely agree with hina and uh, i'd like to add on it that i've grown up watching cricket and uh, seen pakistan represented by different different teams in the cricketing uh, in the cricket world cups so this is our chance basically to to represent pakistan on on the glo- on a global platform with uh, so many competing teams there are 22 different countries and actually bring the same glory for pakistan as uh, was brought by in 1992 by imran khan by winning the world cup we worked so hard for this we we spent so many nights and days working we've been talk- we used to talk uh, the late hours on skype discussing things discussing it over and over again uh, till the point we actually re- memorized each and everything even each other's parts and i don't think after such efforts we would want to lose we would want to get the title firstly our main aim our main goal was to bring uh, to win this thing for cbm but now when we have become the pakistan champions we want to uh, bring the global title for pakistan I also like to add here that for video making we approach one of uh, our cvm student who helped us in making the introductory video as well uh, his name is anas dal uh, there's a video competition also uh, a team team broadcast competition and for that uh, our video would be broadcasted on seema website in the second week of july and uh, I request you all to to please vote for our team and uh, 
it's your chance to bring glory to Pakistan. So you should play your part as well. Thank you. Okay, people. So this was Team Eureka. Summarizing this interview, I would say that never, never, never give up because quitters never win and winners never quit. We wish Team Eureka all the best and we truly hope that they win laurels back home. Go win it for Pakistan. Thank you for watching. Pakistan Zindabad. If you want unique Pakistan to highlight your achievement, email us and let's show the rest of the world that we are Jaspa.